Hi guys, today I'm going to go through the basic concepts with displacement time graphs and velocity time graphs. Okay, so here I've got a basic displacement time graph and it's a uniform displacement time graph. I know that because the gradient of this line here is not changing. And with a displacement time graph, obviously I've got displacement in meters and time in seconds on the x-axis. The gradient of a displacement time graph is equal to the velocity. And I can work out the velocity by finding the change in time and the change in uh, displacement. And velocity is equal to the change in displacement over the change in time. And here we've got a non-uniform displacement time graph. So we can see the gradient is changing. And in this case, if I want to find what's the velocity at a certain point in time, I just need to find the gradient of the tangent. So here at this point here, uh, if I found the gradient of the tangent, so again, if I just did my uh, delta s and my delta t, exactly the same idea, the velocity is equal to delta s over delta t. Same idea, I've just this time I've got to draw a tangent at a certain point. Now this time we're looking at a velocity uh, time graph, velocity on the y-axis, time on the x-axis. Now this time you can get two lots of information with a velocity time graph. The gradient of our line here, in this case it's uh, uniform because the gradient isn't changing, or well, the gradient is equal to the acceleration. So if I did my uh, change in uh, time here, and I've got my uh, change in velocity, well, acceleration is equal to change in velocity over the change in time. But also, the area under the graph here, so the area under this part here, that tells me the displacement travelled. And again, this is exactly the same for a velocity time graph that's not uniform. So here we can see the gradient is uh, changing. This is very common when you're approaching something like terminal velocity. and Eventually the, the gradient actually becomes zero when you uh, approach terminal velocity. But uh, like, like the previous example with the non-uniform uh, change in displacement, at the gradient of the tangent at a point, so maybe this point here, that is equal to the acceleration in meters per second squared. And again, the area below the graph line is equal to the displacement traveled. Okay, hope that was useful. Bye for now.